Welcome back, my name is Teresa and I'm very much gonna get saucy. It sounded better in my head, but whatever. Oh my God, my ear, uh. Okay. <laughs> I wish I could make excuses for that, but I think I just wanted to do it. I have an awful garbage filthy mouth where sometimes, just sometimes, I tend to use the word fuck as a comma. <coughs> It's contagious. If you're not into that or weird stuff in general, this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to exit the video here. No harm, no foul. But I'll remember our time fondly. Y'all, I'm excited because I'm going to do, this is a baby air horn. I don't feel good. I don't have a cold. It's just really bad allergies where it feels like you have a cold. It feels like you're laying on death's bed, but you're really not though. If you just take some Claritin and just shut the fuck up, everything is fine. <laughs> I love that for me. As promised in my last video, I was like, you know what? I spent a lot of money during the Sephora Rouge sale. Thanks to the beautiful, wonderful patrons that bullied me into buying products. I love them to pieces. And if you don't know what I'm referring to, I'll link it up in the corner over here. Definitely go check that out. I bought a lot of stuff and I wanted to do a get ready with me and I wanted to have a couple of drinks. And today was supposed to go a little bit differently, you know, obviously, like I didn't want to feel like shit. <laughs> but you know what makes me feel better? And this is actually something that I kind of forgot about until my beautiful, wonderful friend, Emily Hanhan mentioned it. She goes, Bitch, drink a hot toddy. And I'm like, you know what? I could feel better and get drunk too at the same time. And I could numb my vocal cords because that's what I need to do. In this get ready with me, I'm just gonna drink and just talk about what's currently going on in my life. And I'm not really gonna talk too much about the products. You know, I say that now. Maybe we'll do a roundup at the end. If I'll say like, yay or nay. We'll do that. If you want to know like super full on thoughts to things, this is pro you're probably not going to get anything out of this except watching me look like an asshole. So if you're into that, fucking buckle up, Becky. We got a fucking show for you today. So I need to go get my hot toddy on. My water is currently boiling. I'm going to have a nice Lipton tea bag, some honey, and a shitload of bourbon because I don't have whiskey in this house. But I figured it's kind of the same shit, right? I'm gonna use a little bit of my NARS Soft Matte Concealer and we are gonna do one eye on camera, one eye off camera, because otherwise I'll be here for a year and a fucking day and we don't got time for that. So anyway, how are you? How's everybody doing? Kind of going through the motions a little bit. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. I had a very long week last week and it looks like we're going to be kind of going back into the office, which I know kind of a little like, I'm excited, but also at the same time nervous. And I think, you know, anybody who works in an office space, especially in a gross office space, <laughs> could uh, definitely relate. I'm so sure of it. And uh, and again, also, I kind of want to be mindful too that there have been some people that do not have the ability to work from home. And so they're probably saying like, shut the fuck up. Listen, I've been going to work day in and out since this fucking thing started. So shut up. And you're right, I should. Y'all have it so much fucking worse. Like, I completely agree. So I hope this doesn't come off as like, you know, like, ooh, like, wah, wah, wah. It's just, this is how I'm feeling. We had a meeting uh, this past week and long story short, they're explaining us the plan of, of when they would like us back in the office. And the thing about the presentation was, it was like, hey, okay, like, we want y'all to start coming back into the office post Labor Day, but we still don't really know what the office space is gonna look like. <laughs> so like, this is like all TBD information, which caused a lot of, uh, in for myself anyway, more anxiety because I was just like, we don't know what's happening. And I don't know about y'all, but I'm a nervous little Nelly. If I don't know what we're doing when we're doing it, I am literally losing my mind. <laughs> I love that for me. I get that from my mom. It's awful. <laughs> I'm not a big person of change. I don't like change. Um, I like my routine. When a wrench gets thrown into the machine, I'm like, <laughs> I am not a chill person. I am not a chill person. I think that's why me and Paul work together so well because uh, he's chill and I'm not. I am so far from fucking chill. It's not even funny. <laughs> 
<laughs> I feel like I'm, I have so much anxiety sometimes that I'm gonna start shitting out diamonds, which my student loan company would be very excited to hear about. <laughs> oh, motherfuckers. Anyway. <laughs> The fact that it was like a big question mark, the meeting just made me feel like incredibly uncomfortable because of course, I always think the worst possible thing, you know, <laughs> like for example, like if I call my mom and she doesn't pick up and it goes to voicemail and then I call her again and it goes to voicemail, I automatically assume that someone has taken my mother. Like somebody has kidnapped her and now I have to figure out where I'm going to find her and I have to like make sure that I have like a ragtag group of people that are gonna help me fight off the bad guys. Like I, this is what I think about. This is what I think. I think about the stupidest scenarios. Like, oh my God, somebody obviously took my mom when she went to stop and shop. She was probably like got distracted because there was probably sales at the deli counter and my mom loves a good sale. Someone probably took her. They're probably gonna put her up for ransom. Like, do I even have that kind of money? This is what I think about, all right? I'm fucking stupid. So needless to say, you can automatically assume when something is like a TBD, in this situation, I'm already thinking like, what exactly is gonna happen? Like, a am I going to be like allowed to drink water at my desk? <laughs> like, is there gonna be bathroom breaks? Like, do I have to plan for bathroom breaks? Should I get a catheter? I don't know, like I start I start thinking about really stupid shit. So <laughs> but my throat is feeling good. I will give it that. Needless to say, I'm just like having just, you know, just one of those weeks where my mind is like obviously getting the best of me. I'm think I'm just like driving myself a little bit too crazy and I just want to know what the plan is. But it sounds like we're going to be heading back into the office space post Labor Day. It doesn't sound like we're going to be going back full time. So I will be working remotely part of that time, which I'm excited about because I feel like I get a lot more done at home. But you know, also I feel like I have been doing a really good job being at home to begin with. So, you know, part of me is like, oh shit, like how am I going to handle kind of going back to work when I'm used to having no distractions and now I'm gonna have a shitload of distractions. Whether it's going to be like, oh my God, did that person just cough? <laughs> Oh no, Phyllis doesn't have her fucking mask on. Or am I gonna like watch Bob pretty much just infect everybody in the office by sneezing or something into the ventilation system and next thing you know, we're all like just fucking dead on the floor. I don't know. <laughs> These are the things I think about. So I'm just kind of uh, anxious is probably the best way that I can explain it. But I think once I know a plan, I'll feel a lot better. Duh, no shit, Sherlock. A part of me is kind of like excited about the prospect of going back into the office. Ooh, what should we do actually? Oh, bitch, that's nice. Ooh, I kind of like that one too. Ooh, what's this one? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my God, oh my God, this is so pretty. What the fuck are we gonna do, boys? I want to use them all, but I can't though. But I can, but I won't. But I want to though. I think what I want to do is, you know what? I kind of want to put this like in the, this portion over here, the inner. I'll mark it with my finger. Like I want to put that there. And I kind of want to put this a little bit in the middle. And then I want to like marry the two with the fucking, the navy. So I, that's what I kind of want to do. And I think that's what I'm going to kind of do. It's a lot of kind is in there, but that's what we're going to do. So I don't muddy that area up. I know it's not kind of like a half-ass uh, cut crease, not really. Just literally just rejuvenizing this, rejuvenizing, like it's getting a vaginal rejuvenation. I'm vaginally rejuvenizing my eye so that the blue, <laughs> blue stick perfectly. So with all this talk about you know, going back into the office, it kind of gets me a little bit excited about like, oh man, I feel like the world might be slowly returning to normal, which scares me, but also excites me because I want to do stuff that's not in my fucking apartment. And since I'm vaccinated, it's like, I feel like, okay, like I should, I need to kind of get more comfortable about going into the outside. Okay, wait a second. Ooh, what should I, you know what? I'm gonna use this little brush here. Oh, you pigmented. Okay, okay. I, you know, part of me wonders if it'll be a little bit more punchy. Nope, oh, all right. See if I could use this stuff without glitter glue today. It's a really beautiful blue color. I feel like, by the way, I'm like talking so mellow. I kind of feel like a Bob Ross painting. Like, oh, happy little trees. Gotta love those happy little trees. This darker one over here. Hopefully there's a difference between the two. Kind of, not really. Like a little bit. 
They kind of look pretty similar actually. I am going to, I'm gonna wet my brush. Hold please, I'm gonna use water, hold on. Okay, yeah, it looks a little bit more punchier. I mean, they still look pretty good dry. Although the fucking fallout on this kind of sucks. Going with this Refer number 26, which is one of their newer brushes. I love this, especially for hooded eyes. I'm able to kind of get in this little fat cutlet piece here. Oh, that's so cute. Look at me. <laughs> Look how precious I am. I'm so precious. You know, it's actually kind of funny. Like you think it's going to be kind of pretty bright, but it's like a sophisticated blue. Like I'm like, oh, hello, I have money, welcome. That's what I imagine people who have like a lot of money talk like, oh, hello. No, okay. Anyway, what the fuck was I saying? Oh yeah, so I'm kind of like in the mood to, uh, you know, rejoin society a little bit. And uh, <laughs> I was literally just gonna say, get my fuck on. I'm literally okay with rejoining society because I just want to start, you know, living my life. I feel like, uh, much like everybody else, a year of my life was robbed. I'm never going to get it back. I just got fatter because of it and probably had to deal with a lot of issues that I didn't want to deal with. But I had no choice because I was alone in this apartment for a majority of it, so... When I say it like that, it just sounds really just gruesome. Listen, when you're alone with your thoughts, you start dealing with things that you haven't dealt with. Daddy issues, I'm gonna store that for later. The next thing you know, there's a Tuesday at 11 o'clock, you just start fucking breaking down, but I digress. In any case, um, I am uh, very much looking forward to rejoining society because uh, I just fucking need to do something more than what I'm doing. And I really miss much like everybody else, I miss uh, going on vacations and like doing stuff and not, you know, feeling uh, worried or trapped or anything like that. Like I just wanna fucking go live my life. So I'm kind of hoping, uh, me and Alex kind of keep tossing around this idea since we're vaccinated that, um, well, he's almost done being vaccinated. He hasn't got a second shot yet, but I'm kind of hoping that once he gets his shot, then we can potentially go on vacation. And we keep talking about Vegas which let me go do my other eye and let me tell you a little bit about Vegas. All right, hi and welcome back. I look psychotic. Took me a hot second <laughs> to do the other, uh, the other eye because this one has a little bit extra like hanging juice. This one has a little bit more fatty roast beef. So it always takes me an extra second. And then the next thing you know, I was uh, Marco Poloing Audra, Audra at home, like love this angel cupcake. And then I started watching, okay, before I go into Vegas, which oh, there's a lot to unpack there. Does anybody else, or might maybe I'm the only weird one where I don't watch anything new. So people will always ask me like, hey, are you watching anything new? And you're like, <laughs> No, I just tend to watch the same shows that I've seen a hundred thousand times. So what I'm currently watching right now actually is <laughs> Real Housewives of New Jersey. And you know what? That shit has aged so well. You know, I thought it was gonna be cringe. No, it's, it's fucking so good. It is so good. If you are a Bravo person, fucking watch it. It's disgustingly delicious. There's just something about them that it's so good. It's so good. I just, ah, oh, I love it. All right, I'm red. <laughs> it probably doesn't help that this is my second hot toddy. Yeah. I needed a refill from the last one. Yeah, that's delicious. All right, so let's, let's fuck my face up here. I'm gonna start with some thorn oil from Ritual Defeat. I love this stuff. This has been my favorite go-to primer as of late. It just, uh oh, it makes everything look so fucking good. Oh my God, I love it. Anyway, so... Yeah, I just been watching a lot of old shows, a lot of Bravo shows in particular. I mean, I look how psychotic I look. Why do I? <laughs> I look like that thing from Crash Bandicoot. You know, like the little, um, the little mask guy. I feel like that's what I look like right now. Hi. Anywho, I've been watching a lot of old shows, and the um, Real Housewives have been like crushing it for me. But of course. Alex doesn't really like watching that stuff, which is understandable. I think it's for a specific type of person. But what we had been watching together, it actually started with one day we were trying to fall asleep. We were watching like, I think like people like walking around Walt Disney World, not saying anything, just like it was like more ambient noises. Just someone walking through a theme park because we're theme park people, we're weird like that. We're, we're Disney adults. And I was really missing it. And I was like, oh, let's like watch it. Cause I'm a fucking weirdo. And we somehow stumbled upon people walking around Las Vegas Strip. I've never been to Las Vegas in my life. I've heard 
really hilarious things about Las Vegas is either you're gonna love it, you're gonna hate it. And I always assumed that I was gonna hate it because I'm not a, a big gambler, but I definitely think I might be really into it now. So anyway, we're gonna start with this LYS foundation. I think this coverage is going to be, wow. But it's covering the redness though. It's gonna take a damp beauty no, this is not a beauty blender. What is this? This is a fucking shop miss a pop pop sponge. Girl, if you gotta spend more than literally a dollar fifty-five on a sponge, fuck out of here. <laughs> we don't got time for that shit. No, thank you. Okay, so this is definitely you know it's kind of really hard to judge right now because my skin is so fucking red that I think the only thing that would technically cover it would be the um cat uh, Ooh, bitch, I almost said cat von D. You say her name three times, she just appears. <laughs> it's like Beetlejuice. No, uh, KVD Vegan Beauty, which, oh my God. All right, but actually, by the way, I did cheat because in my haul video, I showed a different shade of the D Dior concealer that we're gonna try and I hated it. So actually yesterday I went out to go return it. I wound up picking up the lightest shade. My point is, is that when I was in there, I always um, look at the KVD section because I, you know, I really love that fucking good apple foundation and I wanted to see if they had it in stock. Of course they didn't, but there was a lot, there was a younger girl there with her mom and she was like, oh, this used to be called Kat Von D until she did something real bad. And I just started laughing and I was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, that's fucking hilarious. All right, anyway, what was my point? Oh yeah, so I've been like obsessed with w watching people walk around Las Vegas, just walk around the strip. And I think what is so appealing about Las Vegas is that there's, there's like a kookiness to it. It reminds me of New York, except like, is gaudy the best word to describe it? Like, Everything is just so fucking over the top and just delicious. I just want to go. I want to go so fucking badly. It just looks so fucking cool. And so I'm kind of hoping that, oh, I like how this is sitting on my nose. This is very nice. Anyway, so it just looks so opulent and so delicious. And I do know some people that live out in Las Vegas. So I'm kind of like, well, you know, I want to go fucking see them. That would be really cool if they're down for it. But then I'm like, you know, do I feel comfortable enough to get on a plane? I don't know. So these are the things that I've been thinking about. But honestly, with how everything has been kind of going in New York and that they're going to be reopening soon, which I don't really know how I feel about that. I can't, I, like in one hand I'm excited cause I'm like, yes, there's gonna be some sense of normalcy or at least like trying to figure out what this new normal is instead of like feeling like an agoraphobic in my house. But in that same breath, um, it's just like, you know, I am scared of the unknown and like, you know, how people are gonna be. I am loving this. Okay, so this is definitely like a medium, a lighter, light medium coverage. Granted, I did slather on quite a bit on my face, but you just still see some redness poking through. Like, like I said, I don't think I'm gonna, this is not a fucking miracle worker, okay? The fact that it doesn't look like shit on my face, I'll take it. But I wanna see if I can try to cover up some of that redness. I don't think I can though. It's like, I'm hopeful. I'm, I'm really, really trying here, y'all. Did it do a great job covering my redness? Mm, it's kind of, sort of, not really. It is buildable though, which I'll give it that. But like, listen, I'm not gonna fault the foundation. My redness is fucking strong, bro. Like it's really strong. The only thing, honestly, that I have found that has covered my redness is the Kat Von D. Ooh, I said it again. God damn it. She really is going to appear. The KVD Vegan Beauty. <laughs> the KVD Vegan Beauty Foundation. That's the only thing that I feel like I have found that has been uh, good for covering my redness. But you know what? I was actually a little scared because I thought this was going to be too yellow for me. But I mean, I still look insane because I don't have any eyebrows on. So I just look like a fucking extraterrestrial slut, which fucking I'm here for. We're going to go in with the Dior. This is the zero N. I got the 1.5 and that was stupid. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely a better match for me. Holy shitticles. Put it right here. Put it back over yonder. Probably still a lot of stuff. I don't know why, I just wanna like just drag it down my face. Ooh, this is so creamy. Let's see if this will cover the redness. Bad, not bad. I have been meaning to try this concealer for a hot minute and it's nice. So far, so good. So I'm kind of hoping that me and Alex are going to talk about potentially maybe going on vacation since we're vaccinated. Probably not for a little bit because it's kind of my busy season right now, so. 
And I don't think I can get any fucking time off, unfortunately. But anyway, if I happen to go to Vegas, if you have ever been to Vegas, let me know down below what things I should go see, what things I shouldn't go see. Also, would you be interested in vlogging if I do go, out of curiosity? I kind of want to vlog, but only if y'all want to watch it though. I don't want to make something that you guys just don't feel comfortable watching. I need to set my under eyes, and I was normally going to use that Becca powder, but since I purchased this Beauty Blender one, I figured why not try to set my face along with my, um, this. Oh, okay. I noticed with this concealer that I have to set it kind of right away because it started to crease right here. You know, powder wise, okay. Definitely mattified that area, but whatever, moving on. So I think what I'm gonna do before I do my eyebrows, I am going to, I'm gonna use the Patrick Ta one and I'm gonna do the cream first and I'm going to then use, after I powder my face and I'm gonna go in with the bronzer. So here. I feel like it's kind of just really hard to tell if I even have any product on my face. Is that just me? Maybe it's because I'm so fucking red. Maybe, the, no, I'm starting to see it. I'm starting to see. I'm starting to notice that this LYS foundation is starting to dry down a little bit. And there is some like powder, like right here. I don't remember putting powder on my face. I probably didn't put powder on my face, but like, I'm not a fan of that. Maybe it could be the primer. Maybe I need to try it with a different primer. But let's go in with this Kosas pencil because I'm tired of looking really scary. The fuck is this? I need a drink for this one. Mm. I don't know why I thought it would be a good idea to do my brows first. Actually, I am going to shut the fuck up because there's no way I'm going to be able to talk. So enjoy this sped up version of it. God help us all. You know what, actually? It's not that bad. I really like this brow product. It went on faster than I thought it would. And I mean, I feel like my eyebrows look a little still fucked up, but you know what? I'll take it. Like I'm, I'm cute. <laughs> I'm cute. Yeah, I don't know if I'm crazy about the foundation. And it's kind of drying in weird spots on my face and it just feels a little bit more funkier than usual. So now that I have eyebrows on and I feel like a person again, I'm gonna powder the face and then I'm gonna put cream products on top of it. Why? Because I'm a winner. You know what's also good? If you get it right in your hairline, So, you know what, let's go in with the bronzer. Uh, what the fuck was I saying? Oh yeah, so in preparation for a possible vacation that we may or may not have, we have been watching a lot of vloggers. And can I tell you, all I wanna do when I go to Vegas is just throw in like 50 bucks in a slot machine just to see what happens. There are so many fucking videos that just show you what happens and majority of them are good, but I kind of feel like that's bullshit. <clears throat> but then again, would you actually post you losing 50 bucks? Probably not, right? In any case, I really hope that we do go because that would be pretty fucking cool. Wait, is this the one I want? Do I want Honey Thief or I wanted, no, I wanted Honey Thief. Okay, we're gonna go in with Honey Thief, y'all. And what I'm gonna do is tap it here. This is fucking pretty, you know, Melt. I usually have like a love-hate relationship with, but oh, look at me, I look so virginal. Look at me, a virginal bride. That's pretty. You know what, actually, I wanna hear from y'all. If you could go on vacation, where do you want to go? Money, no object. Money, no object. That wasn't a fucking sentence. If money was <laughs> not an object. <laughs> Actually, wait, I don't know if I told this story. <laughs> I'm not sure if I told this story, but at my job, when we have new people join the team, you know, obviously we don't, you know, meet in the office anymore. <laughs> we do these fucking icebreakers to get to know people. I, th I swear to God, I think I told this. I was starting to sound familiar. If not, I think I told this on Patreon. Money was not an object, where would you go? <laughs> and I remember <laughs> one of my coworkers, she's from New Jersey. And I don't know if she understood the question because she literally just said, New Jersey? <laughs> I was like, what? Somebody was literally footing the bill of your vacation. And if you live in New Jersey, why would you say New Jersey? Like you can go any, you could go to anywhere. You literally could go to fucking Australia. You could go to Antarctica. 
which one of my coworkers said in Antarctica, which I was like, props to you, because that's pretty fucking cool. For me though, I said Japan, and I'm manifesting it. One day I will get to Japan, I will. And it's gonna be fucking great, and it's, I'm gonna literally, why do I look? <laughs> doll. <laughs> I'm a murderous doll here to murder you and your whole family. That's a lot of blush I just realized but you know what though I'm not mad at it I think it's so pretty. Um um you know what I'm a huge fan. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of this. Whatever I'm doing keep doing it girl. This is great. I mean right here is a little chunky but that was my fuck up though because I use the sponge. It was my fuck up. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go in with this Aether Beauty highlight, which by the way, if you haven't seen my video, I did press it down with my sausage finger. So I'm not going to, I'm just gonna do it like this because I don't want anything to fall out of the pan. I'm gonna take this brush. Fuck my face up. Oh my God, Brenda, do you see this? Hold on. Do you see this? Like who I am literally getting pregnant later. What the fuck? Can I tell you, I love I'm a stripper TikToks. Day in the life of a stripper TikToks. You know, I, I'm one of those people that were like, eh, fuck TikTok. I don't understand that. And then one day I was sitting on the toilet, much like most of my day, and I was like, hey, let's go look at TikTok because I hear people make funny things on there. Long story short, I fell in love with TikTok where <laughs> It's actually really funny. I'll just sit on the toilet. It's, this is so gross. But I'll sit on the toilet. I'm not doing anything. I'm not shitting or anything. And I'll just like, just look at TikTok. Just, just sit there for like 45 minutes. To the point where Alex has to knock on the door and be like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm just looking at TikToks, babe. It's all good. But I love my fucking little algorithm that I have going on. All it is is pretty much um, just really like just stupid, ridiculous, weird things and luxury handbags. I just watch a bunch of people talk about their luxury handbags. I absolutely fucking adore it. That or deep cleaning stuff. There's just something so satisfying about watching somebody like take a really disgusting place and deep clean it. I don't know, I'm fucking here for it though. I mean, I don't really need any more highlighter, but like I kind of need more highlighter, you know what I'm saying? Like that, I mean, it's it's excessive, but like, look at me, I am excessive. <laughs> oh God, I just wanna go on vacation and I wanna use way too much highlighter and I wanna blind somebody, you know what I mean? That's all I wanna do. This is fucking pretty bitch, I love it. Now, before we finish the eyes, I'm just going to spray myself in the face, which I mean, I, I think I sprayed way too much. I'm a little half in the bag. This doesn't look bad. Like, I mean, I look fucked up, but like, like I kind of look like I ran a marathon and I put makeup on top of it, but whatever, like, you know, it's fine. It's totally fine. Actually, you know what I look like? Anytime I have to speak in a meeting. I don't know about y'all, but my anxiety is really funny where like I'll immediately just start getting like, my, you see my chest? It's so bad. Where <laughs> I'll start talking in a meeting and then I immediately just get fire red. It's so stupid. I fucking hate it. It's terrible. Actually this week in a meeting, I literally wanted to say like, all right, everybody, like we're ending the meeting early. I hope everyone has a great day. And I literally said, not that. I said, I could go with the day. Thank God nobody actually said, Teresa, what did you just say? I think they could just sense that I wanted to fucking die. <laughs> so instead they were like, you have a good day too. So, you know, I know I joke about like the real weird people in my office. Bitch, I am the weird person <laughs> in my office. Oh, fuck me. Sometimes I just don't know how to speak. It's real cute. It's real cute. Okay, so I have a shitload of eyeliner, so okay. We have, and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put one on one side and one on the other. I have technically three, but I'm not gonna use the Marc Jacobs skinny guy because I know how that formula is. Like, I love that formula. I love it. So like, it's cheating. So I'm gonna use Gucci on this side and I'm gonna put Marc Jacobs on this side and we're just gonna hope for the best. This is gray, by the way. So I'm just gonna uh, put in my waterline. Okay, all right, this is cool. 
You know what's cool about this? It doesn't, it doesn't go in the water line. Okay, okay. My nose is broken because of the allergies, like more so than usual, but I don't smell any uh, vagina smell, so that's good. It's not like a Summer's Eve commercial in here, so that I, I appreciate that. Um, okay, so that's the gray. I like it, it's not bad. I don't know if necessarily it goes. I don't know if it necessarily grow, grows. <laughs> I'm getting drunk, y'all. <laughs> That was like a Woody Woodpecker laugh right there. Mm, mm hmm At least I'm one of those people that are like fun drunks. That's the worst when you're not a fun drunk. Oh God, fucking, ugh, the worst. We're gonna go in with the shade Deja Blue. Oh, okay. She is wide and awake. I guess we should put a little bit of blue or something, right? Uh, we're gonna go back in with the Dior one because that was the first one I picked up. Ooh, bitch. You know what I should do? Because I, I haven't used this one. Maybe I'll do it in the beginning of the eye. And then... Uh, ew, that was meaty. Can I tell you, I feel like fucking Mimi Bobak right now. Yes, bitch. All right, we'll take the navy. Go to the back here. Now, I think I had on this brush uh, the lightest color from the artist Couture palette. So just, I'm gonna just try to like, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Why am I even trying to explain what I'm doing? I don't know. I mean, I like poked myself in the eye pretty good. Oh, lippy time. <sighs> All right, so we have two lips. We have the Gucci My Bitch Cousin Rachel, which is a beautiful like reddish orangey color, right? This is a bitch color. This is <laughs> that one cousin you have that's like, No, you can't share my toys. That's exactly what this color is. She's a bitch. She's a fucking bitch. And I love this color. I don't know if this, I mean, I don't think this goes at all. I mean, kind of. I mean, I feel and look like a bitch. Oh, Rachel. But let's try the other one, which is call it a day. You know, I kind of wish it was not as sheer. So I'm happy that I didn't pay full price. I think if I paid full price, I would be really upset. Oh yeah, I think this is more my speed. This is like your lips, but better. Okay, I think this one is a clear winner. All right, I could take it. I could, uh, I could take it. Wow, that was, that was weird. Okay. <laughs> Hold please. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give you my quick thoughts about these products. Yes, the Dior and Denim. I really enjoy. I will say though that it's definitely not worth full price. It's definitely one of those bitches that you get when there is some sort of rouge sale. Do not pay full price for this. Get this on sale because there's nothing inherently unique about the fucking quality of this. I was kind of hoping that this one would be a little bit lighter this shade, but I think these between these two, they kind of look a little bit too similar on the eye for my liking. But in any case, it's still a really beautiful blue color. And had I paid full price, I would be very upset. So buy that when it's on sale. So the next thing is from Artist Couture and this is the Supreme Nudes. Bitch, I fucking love this. Granted, I really only used a handful of shades in this, but this is fucking solid. Do you need this? Honestly, if you're looking for a good staple palette, this might be it. But I want to try the shimmers in this. That was the one thing that I didn't get to try. I didn't even swatch them actually. But now I will, just for your swatching pleasure. Ooh, one of them kind of feels a little gritty. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, they look pretty. But I can happily say that the mattes perform beautifully. And the same thing with the Dior shadows. Like, they perform beautifully. I didn't experience any patchiness with either one of these brands. The Artist Couture, I mean, she's a basic ass bitch. Well, you know, what can we say about her? You know what I mean? And like there's nothing like super amazing about her color story it's just like a basic ass bullshit warm neutral palette in any case i can fuck with it happy that i finally purchased it is it worth full price mm, i think getting it on sale is probably the best bet moving on to lys you know i want to play with this more i think perhaps maybe it's the primer maybe it's the primer I'm gonna try it with different primers to see how I feel, but I do get some dryness, especially around this area. There's a little bit of dryness on my nose when I don't powder this. So I think this does definitely dry down to more of like a powdery finish on my skin type, which tends to be like, more on the drier side. I wanna say this is definitely more of a medium coverage. It didn't cover my complete redness, but then again, I am a red monster. Like it, unless it's the KVD 
good apple foundation, like nothing is ever gonna cover this beast. So for coverage wise, I enjoy it. I do like a light to medium finish, but I wanna try it again with different primers because I don't like that weird kind of powdery texture that sometimes happens around this and this area. So we're gonna keep trying this one out. As for the concealer, where are you, Beach? Beach, where are you? Oh. She's always right in front of me, yet I never know where the fuck she is. This, I like. I'm very happy that I exchanged it for zero, zero, right? Was this what it's called? Zero N, five, two? No, zero. <laughs> Just zero N. This, I didn't mind. I actually really, really enjoyed it. I found like it had a really good coverage and I really like the combination of these two uh, for coverage wise, especially adding a little concealer down here to kind of try to mask some of my redness. Anyway, like that one. The Patrick Ta stuff, I'm, I'm gonna save this for a future video because I kind of want to talk about this in tandem with the Wayne Goss one, but this one was fine. This one was good. I enjoyed this one. The uh, blush, oh my God, the Mel Cosmetics blush. Ah, <gasps> bitch. I really love the fucking formula. It feels really nice. I applied this over powder, by the way, and I didn't feel like it was pulling up any of the products underneath, which is fabulous. The Beauty Blender Powder, you know, I think um, I think it has some radiance to it, but again, kind of still too early to tell. I need to play with it a little bit more to see if, if I would ever repurchase this again, but I don't hate it. So I guess that's good. Aether Beauty, the highlight, I mean, fucking meat sweats for days. I feel like I have food poisoning. I'm fucking in love with it. You know, so I think probably the most surprising thing to me is the eyebrow pencil. I thought I was gonna hate this and I actually really like it. I was able to do my eyebrows pretty quickly. Are they crooked? Probably, but I'm drunk, so I don't really give a fuck. In any case, like I don't look too fucked up and I'll take it. And I just love the component of this. So I would, I would totally repurchase this again, for sure. The Marc Jacobs pencil, it's starting to like break up on the outer corner, but this eye is extra watery today, so I do have some product in the middle. Um, not, not, not terrible. The gray pencil from Gucci definitely has better longevity. There's no breaking up on the outer corner, so I like that, and it also doesn't smell weird. Again, my nose is kind of stuffed up, but I don't smell any kind of weird like vagina smell, so. We love that. As for the um, lip tints, because that's essentially what these are. You know, I really do wish they had more of a solid opacity. They don't. I, you know, I think for the price, even for the 20% off, they're still fucking way overpriced. I definitely like the M Cosmetics more. Their lip luminizers are fucking fabulous from M Cosmetics. Highly recommend. And a fraction of the fucking price compared to these. My favorite part of the Gucci lipsticks is the names. I think the names are hilarious. Like my bitch cousin Rachel is probably one of the funniest ones. Of course I added bitch in there, but I mean essentially everyone's cousin Rachel's a bitch anyway. But to all my Rachels out there, I love you though. I love that you're a bitch because you know what you want and that's amazing. Way better than us Ands that are fucking indecisive as all hell. So who am I to judge? In any case, I, you know, these are okay. I, I definitely don't think they're worth it on sale. If these were like $20, $20 I'd be like, oh yeah, get them. Anything more than that, go fuck yourself. They're not worth it. Those are my quick little thoughts about these products. Overall, you know what? Not mad. Not mad at all that my patients bullied me into buying these things. I actually really like some of them. Some of them are pretty fucking cool. Some of them are like, eh, happy that I got them on sale. In any case, let me know down below um, how you're doing. What's going on with you? Tell me everything. I want to know. I want to know everything. <laughs> I sounded like really creepy, by the way. Like I sound like a really creepy stalkery boyfriend. And I am. If you want to know what is currently on my face, which duh, bitch, you know, everything will be listed in the description box below. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So I guess on that note, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button. It's free. Hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon. To my beautiful, wonderful patrons, thank you so much for just being adorably delicious. Thank you so much for being amazing to me and keeping this disgusting, filthy, trashy, red garbage boat afloat i couldn't do without you and um yeah we actually got some good stuff and it's all thanks to you so thank you for bullying and loving me and <laughs> making me you know purchase these things i couldn't do without you so i love your faces if you want to know where to get my merch my podcast my bloopity blop blop everything will be listed in the description box below and uh yeah i hope you all feel better like myself i'm gonna continue to drink this hot toddy and um, go order some Applebee's because I really need some spin dip in my life. And with that said, I'll see you little pumpkins later. Bye.